Welcome to our relocation guide. This is a four part series, four videos, four articles, all detailing what you need to know about moving down to South Florida. And it's all jammed together and put into a nice pack for a complete guide to help all those who are going to come down. Uh, the first part is talking about if you're on the fence to try and decide about moving down here, why you're going to move down here. It's not just about the taxes. The taxes are the number one reason, but there's a whole myriad of other factors that we want to let you know about that are very important. Part two, we talk about probably the number one asked questions, which is what are the best schools? And in relation to that, what are the best neighborhoods? Because if you are a family, if you're a parent like myself, you've got to think, I don't really want to travel for more than 20 minutes to get to my child's school. Private schools down here are the way to go, so you need to know how far those are from the neighborhood that you're going to live. But of course, it has to be the neighborhood that's right for you, the best neighborhoods, and what those are we'll detail in part two. Part three, we're going to get into, once you've recognized the neighborhood for you, we're going to get into the product. What is the best condos, the best lines in those condos, the best gated communities, and the best homes in those communities? And then finally, part four, we get into the economics. We talk about the numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I'm an economist. We have stuff like this, which is our uh, health indicator, which will let you know what are the metrics to measure the product with. And that should hopefully give you everything you need. So let's get into this. So it's been our pleasure to relocate not just families, but companies too, entire companies. And I don't mean small companies, I mean like multinational companies. And in the process of doing that, we've always asked our clients, so why did you move? And why did you move the company, like an entire company? And that is a, a really big operation to do. It's a lot of hassle, a lot of effort. So what really, what drew you to it? And outside of the taxes because we all know look the main reason that you move to south florida for a lot of a lot of companies is because the tax difference is so huge if you look at the list and it's going to bring it up on the screen of all the different cities and their tax rates you'll see that south florida florida zero city zero state tax that's a big pull but outside of those let's talk about the other reasons why you want might want to move down here the first one is weather I and mean, it's kind of obvious it's the sunshine state we get 10 months of the year where it's absolutely beautiful it's blue sky it's clear it's wonderful it's great you really can't fault it and the ocean's warm you can swim in it sorry LA but your ocean is a little too cold for our liking uh, here you don't need a wetsuit and that kind of leads us on to the fact that you know the weather is great but beyond that talk about the cost of living I mean as you drive around I've got friends who live in New York, who live in LA, who live in Aspen, and the cost of living there is exponentially higher. And I'm not talking about the taxes now, I'm talking about the cost of houses. What it costs to buy a house in New York, or in LA, or in Aspen, is exponentially more. So here, what we're gonna do is we share with you, you know, the dollar per square foot. Um, and it's obviously much, much lower. Third point, I never really thought about this until a client of mine said to me, David, I do a lot of trading with Europe and other places. And if I'm on the West Coast, the timelines are killing me. It's eight hours between Europe and the US. And if it's nine o'clock in the morning, everyone's finished work in Europe and I just can't deal with them. In Miami, it's five hours difference. East, East Coast timelines are much more forgiving than West Coast timelines. Next point. Miami is culturally diverse. It's beyond culturally diverse. It's every possible background you can think of. But more importantly, it's highly engaging. Nothing melts into it, each other. There's an individuality that's retained in the city. Because what you'll find is that you have access to so many different cultures. And that means socially, it's engaging. And that also means things like restaurants and nightlife is also highly engaging. It's nothing waspy about Miami. It's not the same crowd. It's very, very varied. And that's a big pull. It keeps us interested. It's kept me interested. So moving on beyond those elements, yet another reason to move to South Florida. And again, you know, you've got Miami-Dade, Broward. Getting around, getting around is easy. You try getting around New York, getting around LA, it's much, much harder. The streets here, 
easy to move around, easy to get around, and honestly, it's beautiful. Now, the Miami that I know is not the Miami of South Beach. It's not south of Fifth. Look around. It's super green. It's very lush. This is the Miami that I want to share with you guys, the one that I'm going to show you as you go through the different neighborhoods. Because when you move here, you're moving to the primary neighborhoods. You're going to move to the neighborhoods of Coconut Grove, Coral Gables, Pinecrest. These are the big three neighborhoods that's pulling people in. These are the ones that we're going to explore in most detail. And outside of that, we're going to get into Fort Lauderdale, the neighborhoods on the waterways. We'll look at Boca, we'll look at Palm Beach, we'll look at everything that the best of South Florida has to offer. So in discussion, if you haven't seen any of our other videos and you haven't seen any of our material, I really encourage you to go online and read so many of the other blog articles that we've written about relocating. The reason I want you to do this is I want you to, to understand our pedigree, our experience. We're a top producing team, we've done this for over a decade, and we know exactly what's required when it comes to moving. We know the best neighborhoods. We can take you down every street and tell you what every single house costs, when it was bought, who bought it last, and what it's likely to be asking for when it comes on the market next. And the thing about moving is that you're looking at these different homes and you're trying to understand what's the best one for me, where can I get the most bang for my buck. We don't just deal with on market, we deal with off market. We go every single week, we're reaching out to owners to see if they will engage with us and be having a conversation about selling their property.